manner. The superintendent is responsible to provide all board members with the same information. The superintendent shall notify board members when information received is to be considered confidential. It is the responsibility of the superintendent and board of education members to handle confidential information in an ethical and professional manner. Student staff accomplishments were read to you. School improvement, um, our partnership with the service unit uh, continues to be very valuable. They will facilitate our staff in service on our April 29th early dismissal. We will be doing a Bright Bites data analysis for our continuous school improvement process. Um, Mr. Luth and Mr. Mechke um, have completed that advance ed report and kudos to both of those individuals. They too found the partnership with the service unit to be very valuable as uh, Jill Bates uh, primarily led them through um, that portion of that process. Um, so we're, we're starting year three in the cycle. We had two years to file our report and so kind of back to square one with regards to school improvement. It's an exciting place to be. Uh, the State of the Schools report, continue to uh, encourage you to review that and the data that is there. Um, strategic planning, the Essential Finance Planning Committee. Um, we had talked about a lease purchase option and I did look into that. It is on the agenda under facility challenges, so we'll talk about that then. Um, I've also been asked uh, by a board member and stakeholder that perhaps reviewing uh, the Heritage Bank and Pinnacle Bank fund balances um, would be a good practice at board meetings. Um, so I'm going to let you deliberate on that, but I am not opposed to uh, reading that information. It is all public information in your packet, <coughs> um, but we could read that for our stakeholders as well. Technology with regards to uh, the website and um, our laptops. The one-to-one -one update is that the staff technology team, they've got a procedure handbook uh, somewhat developed, and they will be discussing that with you. The laptop computers have been ordered. Um, they were hoping for distribution to staff by May 1st. Um, that most likely will not happen because um, they had some difficulty with some technical technicalities with the laptop itself. So Mr. Kreppel is working on that, but he is thinking um, he will have the individualized imaged laptop in his possession yet this week and then he will take that image, specific computer, to all members of the technology team and also take it to Nita with him. When he returns from that, then that machine is shipped back to image the rest of the machines. So he's definitely hoping for mid-May on that now. Socks is going to be the new homepage. Uh, Mr. Kreppel has been very instrumental with that as well. It is finished and staff are currently reviewing that. Um, he's taken that to all members of the technology team at this point, uh, but the rest of the staff uh, needs to review it for user friendliness and, and the, new, the new face uh, of the Dealey Oakdale homepage. Um, he's very excited about that, as am I. Uh, building grounds and transportation update with our essential facilities planning. Uh, custodial personnel are prioritizing uh, some of the projects. We'll take a look a little bit at that on the agenda. Um, they're needing some guidance from the building and grounds <coughs> team. Since the fire marshal report didn't have anything that was specifically due this summer on the response to the fire marshal, they would like guidance from the building and grounds team as to which projects they would like bids on. Okay, so we'll get that guidance from the Building and Grounds team. Um, annual safety review was conducted by Larry Hyatt. That's in accordance with Rule 10. We do that every year. I did send that to your email along with the agenda and cover letter. Um, it was also sent to staff. The committee minutes for the Building and Grounds team have been verbally requested. I have not had a written request for that. Uh, until I get a written request, we don't honor that. But just know that they would like a <coughs> list of attendees and they would like some discussed topics. Uh, EMC Insurance conducted a facility re review per the board's <coughs> recommendation. Um, they did <coughs> increase the coverage at Westward from $1,569,071 to $1,999,600. All other areas were determined to be adequately covered and I sent that to your email as well but this additional coverage will increase the annual bill to the school district by $175. Um, the 
facility challenges, that is on the agenda as well. Uh, and the SB update, and the data conference is April 27th uh, and 28th. Was that the increase in coverage, was that for Eastward or Westward? That was on Westward, okay. Brian. Yep. Everything here was adequate. And what do we have for coverage with Eastward? Right. I would have to pull that document. Okay. And we can do that. And I can scan that whole document to you. Would you like me to do that? I can that would be fine. Just to make sure that we're... Yeah. And I think it was on the list. But I'll double check. That I attached to the email. So I'll check. Okay, NESB update and other uh, data conference, April 27th and 28th in Kearney. Um, if you would like to go to that, let me know. I'll get you registered. Open Meetings Law Workshop is June 17th in Norfolk. Legislative and Policy Review. Uh, Nebraska Association of School Boards and Nebraska Council of School Administrators really keep their finger on the pulse of these events. These are the legislative bills right now that they think are pertinent for you to be uh, reviewing. If you have an interest in any one of those um, and would like more information about whom to contact or contact information, I can get that for you. It appears that LB 431, Bakersville, extending the 40000 to 100000 for school districts for the bidding process, that's, that will pass. That statute has not changed since 1979, and that's the latest that I have on that one. Everything else is either in committee or in discussion. So we can, you know, have to get bids. If that passes, we'll have to get bids in a certain over 100,000 bucks. Correct. Okay. Uh, is that it? That is it for my report. Thank you, Ms. Lynn Calder.